excuse me. You want to be in the video? All right. Say hi. Oh, are you are you camera shy? <sighs> it's hot. It's hot. All right, I have a solid 20 minutes to record this before I have to leave. So I ain't gonna fuck around. We're just gonna get right into this. Disclaimer, my cat is, she's a toddler basically, so she's a feisty little bitch. And if you hear any noises in the background, it's her. So, hi, hello, it's Maya. As you can see, I am a slightly modified person. I have stretched ears, I have a stretched septum, I have double nostril piercings, I used to have my labre pierced, I have tattoos. I can get my leg in there. So, I am very interested in the art of putting art on your body. I'm also going to just change the angle of this. I am very sorry, I'm a picky ass bitch. Now, I have a video on my channel already about stretching your ears. It actually got a lot of views, which I'm like shooketh about. If you've watched it, thank you. Did I say shooketh? I'm slaughtering myself later. In that video, I basically go in depth in explaining pretty much everything you need to know about stretching your ears. So if you're a beginner and you really want to know how to get started, what materials to use, what not to use, what to do and what not to do, I would suggest watching that video video first. This video, I guess, is going to be more for the people who have decided that they want to stretch their ears and they bought the things that they need to stretch their ears and they're trying to get into it and they want to know like the steps to take, blah blah blah. This video is going to kind of get a little bit more descriptive of the methods of stretching your ears and how exactly that all works. Also, for a little bit of like credibility's sake, I've been stretching my ears since I was 15 or 16, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm 22 now, so what, six, seven years? My ears are currently 22 millimeters that is seven eighths of an inch. This one's about like 23, 24. This one's about 22, 23. My goal size is an inch. However, because I made a lot of mistakes slash when I learned from my mistakes, my ears were just completely stubborn. It takes a lot for them to stretch. You might find that you have that problem because sometimes no matter what you do, like you could do everything right and your ears just aren't having it. Because of that issue, it takes me a while to stretch my ears and they're really stubborn. So I am gonna be completely honest. I do have blowouts in my ears. I've healed blowouts many a times that does contribute to how difficult it can be to stretch your ears once I like reach my goal size I do plan on eventually having like a surgical procedure where you cut the blowout off and then obviously your ears will be sized down and then you can kind of just like start over with the stretching process but for me personally they're really not that bothersome other than the fact that you know they do kind of get in the way when you're stretching but it's not that big of a deal to me for you it may be different I would obviously advise that you do things to prevent blowouts and tears from happening happening, but if it does happen, it's not the end of the world. Anyways, getting into the actual video. Now, there are three main ways to stretch your ears. First is the most common way, and that is using tapers. Oh, I looked right into my light. A taper is a tool. This is not jewelry. This is not something that you want to wear on an everyday basis. This is simply a method of stretching your ears so that you can put in actual jewelry afterwards. You don't wear tapers because the weight is unevenly distributed. As you can see, one size is bigger than the other. So if you were to wear this, it would weigh down one size of your lobe more than the other, therein causing your lobes to stretch unevenly or thin out unevenly. So this is strictly just a tool. Never wear these, all right? The second method is taping, which is the process of gradually wrapping tape around your ears in order to size up to the next level. And then after taping, we have dead stretching, which dead stretching is the one that I would recommend the most. But anyways, dead stretching is essentially wearing heavy jewelry in a different millimeter increments until you reach your goal size. Before I get into each method, I just want to throw some tips out there. The main thing with stretching your ears is that you want to go slow. A lot of people are like, well, how long should I wait between stretches? Everyone has different recommended waiting times. Some people say one to two weeks. Some people say two to three months. Depending on what size you're at, it's going to be different. My main advice would be to just listen to your body. If it hurts, if you have any pain at all, if it's just not happening, if you feel that you're struggling to push it in, if you manage to get it in and it hurts, then you're just not ready. Listening to your body and feeling the way that your ears are reacting to the stretch is going to be your best bet. 
Now when stretching your ears, you're always going to want to keep them lubricated. In my opinion, the absolute best oil to use for your ears is jojoba oil. From what I know, jojoba is the oil that best matches what your body naturally produces. It's good for your hair, it's good for your skin, it's good for your earlobes. If you have blowouts over time, it can help to reduce them if you massage your ears daily with them. It will help thicken your lobes, it will make stretches easier. You can also use coconut oil, vitamin E oil, aloe vera, well, I mean like natural aloe, not like lotions mixed with aloe, uh, shea butter. You can also buy something called ear butter off of stretching websites. Ear butter is usually just a mixture of like different oils all together, so that's up to you. Now, things that you don't want to use, Vaseline is okay, it's just really emollient, so I don't know, I just, I don't recommend stretching with Vaseline. Um, don't do it with any kind of lotions, especially lotions that have fragrance in them because that's not really suited for your earlobes. Fragrance can cause irritation and pretty much just things that aren't more natural substances. I just wouldn't recommend stretching with it. Next tip is going to be to stretch after a shower. This is when your ears are the most stretchy. Hot water helps to like, you know, loosen up your cells and get the blood flowing and all that good shit. You also want to massage your ears right after a shower too or while you're in the shower because the oil will help trap in that moisture. Make sure your ears are all nice and uh, moist. Next few things are just to keep them clean. Wash your ears daily. Wash your plugs daily. You don't have to use soap. You literally just take your plug out, run it under some hot water, massage your ear with the hot water, just get off all that like gunk and nasty ear cheese that can sometimes build up and you're all good. You can also do sea salt soaks. These are good for after stretches. If your ears are irritated, if you have a tear, they're good for healing stretches. They're just basically good for like killing bacteria and making sure that your ears are nice and clean. And the last thing is to never use weights to stretch. Weights are pretty much jewelry that you wear like if you want to look fancy as shit you wear a pair of weights you go out they weigh down your ears and you look cute but you don't want to wear these for long amounts of times and you don't want to wear them to help stretch your ears because all the weight is going to go to the bottom this plug keeps falling out because all the weight is going to go to the bottom of your earlobe which is going to thin out the bottom the sides are going to be thick you don't want that now let's get into it tapers a lot of people are going to start with acrylic tapers or acrylic jewelry acrylic can harbor bacteria which is why people don't suggest taping with it wearing it especially not for long periods of time so i would suggest if you're using tapers to stretch your ears to make sure that you're using a stainless steel and industrialized steel basically just not acrylic tapers can be regular and have a flat top or they can be concave concave means that that the top has a hole in it essentially where you can put the plug in right away and as you're stretching your ears you can just push the plug through right away you don't have to thread the plug in afterwards so with tapers we're gonna pretend that this is my earlobe right this right here that's my stretched ear what you're gonna do is you're gonna take jojoba oil massage your earlobe with it you're gonna take more and you're gonna massage the taper with it then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the smallest end in first and then slowly push it through if it hurts at all stop you're not ready wait another week not the end of the world and then you just keep going and oh oh it's in all right cool it's in what are you gonna do you're not gonna wear it. Where'd I plug at, babe? No, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your plug this is another steel plug and you're gonna line up the edges and you're gonna push it in taper's gonna fall out as it just did and oh look it you got your plug in Ta-da. Tapers are gonna be something that you only wanna use up to like an eight or a six gauge. That's because up to an eight gauge, the millimeter size between every stretch or every gauge size is usually either around one millimeter or under one millimeter. And you never wanna stretch more than one millimeter at a time. Not good for your ears, gonna hurt, you gonna cry. Don't do it. So what do you do if you can't tape your ears up and your ears are too small to, although it, you know, you can still dead stretch at smaller sizes, but a lot of people will find it easier to start taping their ears. There are two different materials you can use to tape your ears. First one is PTFE. The second one is bondage tape. This is bondage tape. This is what I've used. It's self-adhering, which means that it's not going to stick to other things. It's only going to stick to itself. PTFE is the same thing. It is recommended that you remove the tape that you've put on your ears and reapply it every single day. However, when I would use tape to stretch my ears, I really wouldn't do that and I never, never cause any problems or irritation however you may be different so if you find that it is irritating your ears then yes I would suggest that you remove the old tape and reapply it every single day but at the very least you should at least be of course washing your ears every day make sure you wash all the gunk off the tape just because that gunk can harbor bacteria which can irritate your ears which then can maybe infect your ears now the method with doing this is that you're gonna wrap tape around your entire plug or tunnel every one to two weeks and you're just gonna repeat this until you 
you reach your goal size. Now, a lot of people think that you can just use any old tape. It's not true. Never want to use craft tape, duct tape, electrical tape. These things can harbor bacteria, and they're also a lot thicker than bondage tape or PTFE tape. So taping is something that you're going to want to do when you're done using tapers, or you can just skip tapers altogether, go straight to taping. You can skip tapers altogether and go straight to dead stretching. Like I said, it's all personal preference. Just listen to your body. Taping, I did up to a double zero. It is also helpful if you're having troubles dead stretching to other sizes, but after taping is dead stretching. Dead stretching, like I said, is a process of wearing heavier jewelry in your ears to weigh down your earlobe so that you can go to the next size. This is something that usually occurs naturally if you wear glass jewelry or stone jewelry or any kind of heavy jewelry in your ears for a long amount of times, your ears are naturally going to stretch. This happens with people who have regular 20 gauge or 18 gauge like normal size ear piercings. You may notice that people who wear dangly jewelry for long periods of time, their ears will stretch out. People could be like a 14 gauge and not even know it. This for me is the best method because you can size up slowly rather than, you know, with tapers where it's kind of like a blunt trauma to your ears. With dead stretching, you can do it very slowly, do it one millimeter at a time. This is another thing where you really want to listen to your ears. This ear for me stretches a thousand times faster than this ear, and I gotta go, so I'll finish this later. All right, if the environment or I look at all different, it's because I was recording and then I had to go to work. And now it's about eight hours later and I'm back. So we're gonna finish this up. Now, as I was saying, dead stretching is really just weighing your ears down with heavy jewelry. I feel like I went over this pretty thoroughly in my last video about stretching your ears. So if you wanna go watch that, go ahead. But like I said, the process is basically just starting off with smaller millimeter sizes and then slowly like working your way up one millimeter at a time. Now I'll do a little demo demonstration of that just if that's at all easier to understand I'm just lubing up my ear with some jojoba oil now let's pretend I just got out of the shower and I said you know what I haven't tried stretching my ears in a bit let's try to stretch them massage my earlobes for a little bit get the blood flowing now let's say my ears were this size this was like about a 16 millimeter so this is the jewelry that I was wearing all right cool what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the next size up let's pretend that this is a 17 millimeter and I'm just gonna one more time just make sure that my ears nice and lubricated and then make sure that the plug is as well and then you just push it in and as soon as you realize that your ears are like slowly becoming more and more stretchy you can slowly continue to size up your ears now this right here is a 24 millimeter and uh, like i said before this ear is still a 22. <laughs> The other thing I want to show you guys is this gauge card. This is from Body Art Forms, and on the back, it has pretty much everything you need to stretch your ears. On the top, it has the sizes from a 20 gauge to a 2 gauge, so basically from 8.8 .8 millimeters to a fourth of an inch. And then at the bottom, they have from a 0 gauge to a 5.8, which is 8 millimeters to 16 millimeters. Now, I'm going to pop one of these up on the screen. Now, you can see from 20 gauge to 8 gauge, it goes up by less than a millimeter at a time. Then 8 gauge to 6 gauge is when you start Start going up by a full millimeter and that's why you want to start either dead stretching or taping your ears instead of using tapers because it doesn't seem like that big of a jump but it definitely is once you get there and you may be able to get away with it up to a two gauge because that still is only like a one millimeter jump however from two gauge to zero gauge it's a two millimeter jump and it goes even higher than that like a half inch to five eighths of an inch that's 3.3 millimeters from the looks of it. That's pretty much why using tapers isn't recommended because you don't want to be stretching your ears that much at one time. Another thing that I want to show you, uh, this is a very seen ass acrylic taper that my friend had given me. I never used this. She never used it, but I'm just gonna show you for science. Now, this is a three-fourths taper. This is 100% something that you don't ever want to stretch with. One, because it's acrylic. Two, because if you can see it, properly. Do you see how much this just like immediately goes up to three-fourths of an inch? Like there's nothing gradual about this. It's pretty much just like, oh, you're at three-fourths of an inch. Shove that bitch in. There are tapers that will be longer than this, like maybe about this long or so. However, that's still not the greatest thing to do. Now, I want to show you why you don't wear tapers as jewelry. It's gonna be very simple. Just watch this. Do you see how my ear is hanging? Do you see how because this is heavy and this isn't, the heaviness is making the taper hang like that? Now, I don't know if you can tell the difference between this ear and this ear, but this lobe is going upwards, whereas this lobe is laying flat. So this lobe is at an angle like this, and this lobe is at an angle like, like that. It's, it's 
drastically different and that's why you don't want to wear tapers of jewelry because your ears are gonna stretch unevenly like this this side's gonna be thin this side's gonna be thick the inside is gonna be all uneven it's just not gonna look good you're not gonna have a fun time with it it's gonna make everything difficult in the future the last thing I'm gonna show you is pretty much just how to wrap the bondage tape or PTFE tape around your plug or your tunnel I'm not gonna cut this off because I don't want to waste it but you pretty much just pull a strip out pick how long you want it to be don't make it too long obviously cut it off and you're just gonna line it up with your plug and you're gonna notice that it's not gonna stick to the plug at all well this is a tunnel but whatever you know what I mean and you're just gonna wrap it around and you're gonna make sure that you want to kind of pull on it and make sure that it's like pretty tight and then once it's wrapped around cut off the excess but as you can see it's sticking to itself rather than something else it only fell because this was heavy that's not a toy you don't play with that so yeah i think that's pretty much everything you guys need to know i would say if you take anything out of this just make it be that from 20 gauge to 8 gauge safe to use tapers from 8 gauge to a double zero your best bet is going to be to tape up using ptfe or bondage tape and then anything after that that you're gonna want a dead stretch that's gonna be the safest bet and I think that's it hopefully this wasn't like repetitive I know that my first video kind of covered a lot of this but I did want to kind of go into it a little bit more just in case people were still confused but that's all I have for this video thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe don't think that I'm choking my cat because I'm not and I'll see you guys in the next video bye are you gonna say bye? You don't wanna say bye? Are the lights too bright? I'll put you out of them. Bye.